Virtually a year ago today, we launched the 65 Sport Yacht. It's had great international acclaim, winning three awards for innovation, design, and also best in category. But throughout Sunseeker's history, there's been a more notorious sibling of the current sport yacht being the Predator. A bit more boisterous, a bit more hardcore, and here we are today to test and see what it will do. I give you the Predator 65. Now, what you remember is, although she's a predator, she's got trim assist, keeps her nice and level. She's got a sea keeper, which again, takes out any of that roll when you want to be comfortably running along. But when we want to find out what she really drives like, let's turn all this off. So, sea keeper, straight on the touch screen here, off it goes. I'm gonna turn off the automatic trim assist, little warning beep to tell you it's off. Now let's see what she does. So into gear, straight away, very, very smooth. But as I said, I'm gonna look after her, but I'm not gonna look after her that well. Let's really see what she does. So down we go. So the pickup, couple of second lag, but then we're away. I mean, GPS is still catching up, but already we're at 20 knots, 25 knots coming up already. And it just feels alive. And that helm already, I mean, I can now, fingertip light really start to pull in those turns. I mean, just instantaneous. And it's so easy to do. It feels like I'm maneuvering a little 18 foot sports boat, not 40 ton and 65 feet of predator. It's just incredible. And look at the lean we get in that turn. And now I know why we have the glazed panels in that carbon fiber roof, because it's a great visibility. I can see exactly what's going on without having to duck down to look through the windscreen. Absolutely great. So we'll pull her back round straight now, pulling up to 34, 35 knots. It's a pair of IPS 1350s. So again, the exhaust noise is there, but it's very muted, very, very easy to control. And just the whole boat feels alive and you feel absolutely connected to it. So again, let's just pull her right round, hard to starboard here. And I think we'll go round in a full circle that's only probably about two, two and a half boat lengths. Absolutely incredible for a boat of this size. And it still feels so quiet and serene doing it that I'm keeping on looking at the, the GPS here to see the speed. I mean, we're hard locked doing this sort of turn <laughs> and we're still doing 32 knots. It's absolutely incredible. Like with any good sports car, and as this, the Predator 65, is a sports boat, I thought we'd do a bit of fun and get a zero to 35 knots just to see what that uptake is like. So I've got my phone set up here, all ready to go at zero. So let's see what she will do. So we're into gear and we're pushed now flat out. So you can feel that pickup, she's building now. Suddenly both turbos are in and we're off. So we're already up to 15 knots. 10 seconds, 20 knots, 13 seconds, still going, still building. Here we are, 28, 29 knots, 30 knots, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 knots, 30 seconds. This is 40 tons of boat that will accelerate from a dead standstill. We weren't cheating in gear to 35 knots in 30 seconds. Absolutely incredible. And just goes to prove what this Predator will deliver in driving fun and driving ability. So we've seen that performance. We've seen the turn angles, the zero to 35 knots. And all of that's driven by what we call the Volvo IPS 1350s. It's actually a pair of D13, 1100 horsepower Volvos that are buried down below the deck here in the engine room. Now I thought, as we're out here, let's go and see and feel what those engines really feel like, because they're so muted normally when you're running. Let's go and see. So I'm gonna put these on, take a camera with me, and then Tristan here is gonna go and give us some speed and let's see what it feels like. 
And as you can see, there's actually quite an amount of space down here. The two engines underneath the deck there, generator forward, stabiliser forward. Let us now see what actually happens as we push up the throttle. So Kristen, let's go. So here we are, just accelerating up. It's actually with these headphones, I feel like you can't hear a lot, but it's amazing down here. I can really feel everything going on. I'm going to give you a short view around here, around the engine. And you can see the space is incredible, but the size of the engine is well, the physical size. You just absolutely don't realise until you're down here and on it. But a great space, great access. I'm just that feeling of raw power down here with all the noise of the engine and the water going underneath. So what we do now to give you some contrast, just come back up into the cockpit, shut the hatch, and you'll see the real noise of it. Incredible. I mean, the feeling you get down there, the noise and the feel of the water, is so completely different to here. And obviously with the headphones on, I'm hearing very little, but just the difference you feel in the, like the air pressure and the noise and the power, quite fantastic. And hopefully give you another insight onto really what makes this Predator drive along. So what a great afternoon. I mean, the Predator just proves itself that it's all about that drivability, the thumb behind the wheel, and as I said earlier, it's probably the slightly naughty relative, the naughty sibling, as against its sport yacht that launched last year. But great fun, great ability. It's like driving a small sports boat. And for sure, you're never going to want to get to your destination because it's just too much fun. And on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you're interested, please contact your nearest dealer. Go on suntigger.com. But I'm off to have some more fun. Thank you very much.